If you're a new customer, or if you're getting a new Omnissa subscription, you'll get a get started with email. There are a couple of really important choices you need to make, and this video will help you decide. The welcome email looks something like this. To activate your subscription, click this Get Started button. Or if you think someone else in your company should be doing this part, forward the email to that person. Here you enter the email address you used when you registered for an Omnissa Customer Connect account. If you don't have one yet, click Create an Account to register. Next is the first really important choice. What is an organization and do you want to create a new one or select an existing one? If this is the first Omnissa subscription for your company, of course, create a new one. Each organization provides access to particular Omnissa services. For example, if your company already has a subscription to Horizon, and this welcome email is for a new Workspace ONE UEM subscription, you might choose an existing organization so that both Horizon and Workspace ONE UEM can be accessed from the same page. Or if your company plans to have both a production environment and an R&D or sandbox environment, then your company would have two organizations. We call them orgs for short. And you would join the subscription to one of those. In this list, you see org examples for production environment, Acme GA, and an R&D environment, Acme UAT, user acceptance testing. For more details about making this decision, click the links in this FAQ sidebar over here. That will take you to documentation topics like this. If you choose an existing organization, is it an org that you are already the owner of, or is it an org that someone else owns? If it's one of those other orgs, you'll have to request an owner role before you can add your subscription to it. For example, if I wanted to join this other org, I could log into it, go to my account settings, and request that I be given an org owner role. Then it would become one of my orgs. We'll choose a new organization, give it a name, and accept the terms of service. Then you'll be prompted for a little information about your company, its size, industry, and use cases. Next is the second really important decision. Do you customize the URL for the Omnissa Access Service? Best practice is to say yes, because this is the URL that your employees will use if they want to access their app catalog from a browser. What app catalog, you might be asking? That would be the catalog that you or somebody in your company might configure so that end users have a great employee experience. Here's an example. They'll be able to launch all their published Windows apps, virtual desktops, and web apps from one place and not be prompted to authenticate again and again. It's kind of tricky to customize the access URL later, so we'll do it now. Here are all the character requirements. Now verify that the name has not been taken yet. Cool, it's valid. Submit. It takes a little while. Refresh and finish. Here are all the services associated with this organization. Next time you want to come to this page, you can either go to connect.omnissa.com or go to the main omnissa.com page and click Omnissa Connect. To launch a service, for example, Workspace ONE UEM, just click its tile, and that's all there is to onboarding. For information about what to do next and what other cool things you can do in Omnissa Connect, see the links in the YouTube description for this video.